This webinar will introduce the basic navigational techniques needed to browse the pathways in the Reactome database using the Pathway Browser. To begin browsing the DNA Repair Pathway, click on the Browse Pathways button on the Reactome homepage. Scroll down the Pathway Hierarchy panel and click on the DNA Repair link to load the diagram corresponding to the top level of the Human DNA Repair Pathway. The Pathway Browser consists of four key elements. The Analyze bar at the top of the page provides a species selector with drop-down lists of species known to Reactome. Selecting an organism from the species selector will refresh the Pathway Browser with the inferred pathway diagram from the selected model organism, if it is conserved. The Home button returns the user to the Reactome homepage. The Analyze, Annotate and Upload button controls the interactive tools associated with the pathway diagrams. The Diagram key provides a guide to the iconography used in the pathway diagrams. The second key feature of the Pathway Browser is the Pathway Hierarchy panel to the left, providing a scrolling display of all Reactome pathways. The six headings underneath DNA Repair are the major divisions of the pathway, such as Basic Scission Repair and Double Strand Break Repair. The plus symbol implies that there are subheadings underneath the headings, and clicking on them will expand the topic to show its subparts. Clicking on the minus symbol to the left of the pathway name will hide its subparts. The third key element of the Pathway Browser is the Visualization panel, displaying an interactive pathway diagram that can be panned and zoomed in Google Maps style. The pathway diagram uses the conventions of the system's biology graphical notation format to distinguish the molecules and reactions by shape, color, and cellular location to provide a dynamic framework for pathway visualization and data analysis. The blue navigator icon allows users to choose the zoom level and scroll across the pathway diagram. Users can also zoom using the mouse wheel and click and drag the diagram. The thumbnail image in the lower right corner of the visualization panel can be used to navigate quickly to a region of interest in the pathway diagram. The final key element of the pathway browser is the details panel containing the description of the pathway. The panel begins with the document identifier and stable reactome record identifier, the authors, reviewers and editors for this pathway. This is followed by a text summation that describes the pathway. Below the summation are more details about the pathway, including the taxon on which the events occur, supporting citations, the gene ontology classification, and the cellular compartment in which the pathway is known to occur. Equivalent events in other organisms allows one to jump to the corresponding processes in other model organism systems. Clicking the Participating Molecule button lists all the proteins, nucleic acids, complexes and small molecules that are involved in the myriad aspects of DNA repair. Selecting a model organism from the Compare Human Pathway 2 drop-down menu will display an interspecies pathway comparison view. Pathway diagrams and annotations can be downloaded in a variety of formats by clicking one of the links adjacent to the Download Pathway in one of the Formats field. Click on the plus symbol adjacent to the Nucleotide Excision Repair entry to expand this level of the hierarchy, revealing the sub-entries, Global Genomic NER and Transcription Coupled NER. Click on the plus symbol to the left of the Global Genomic NER and then click on the Global Genomic NER link. Notice that the pathway hierarchy has now expanded by a level to reveal the relationship between Global Genomic Nucleotide Excision Repair and the more general pathways that it belongs to on the one hand and to the more specific pathways on the other hand. Furthermore, the pathway diagram in the visualization panel changes, highlighting the reactions that are involved in the Global Genomic Nucleotide Excision Repair. When a subpathway in the hierarchy is selected, its name and the name of the parent pathway are highlighted in the hierarchy and in the pathway diagram as green squares highlighting the nodes of all the reactions that are components of the subpathway. The details panel will display further information about the subpathway in text form and is accompanied by a cartoon overview and a subpathway summation and annotations. In order to drill down to the reaction level, continue to click on the sub-pathway entries. Eventually the reaction level will be reached, where processes are described as interactions of individual molecules. To see this, return to the pathway hierarchy and click on the first plus symbol to the left of the DNA damage recognition in Global Genomic NER, and then click on XPC HR23B complex binds to damaged DNA sites with lesions. The details panel will show further information about the reaction in text form and provide additional molecule and reaction annotations. Reactum provides information about the subunits of a complex as well as the larger ensembles of proteins that a complex participates in. Click on the TF2H entity in the pathway diagram. This will update the details panel to display information about the TF2H complex. The complex details panel will include new fields. To learn about the protein subunits of the complex, right-click on the TH2F icon. This will invoke a context-sensitive menu. 
and select participating molecules. Scroll down the list of molecule names and click on the CDK7 nucleoplasm subunit to load the protein details panel below that describes it. The details panel will show further information about the protein in text form and provide additional protein annotations. To navigate to other pathways that the TF2H complex participates in reactome, select the TF2H icon in the pathway diagram and click the right button of your mouse to engage the context sensitive menu. Select other pathways, scroll down the list of pathway names and click on HIV lifecycle to redirect the pathway browser to display this selected pathway diagram. Mousing over the other pathways reveals that in addition to DNA excision repair pathway that has been browsed in the steps above, TF2H also participates in HIV life cycle, RNA polymerase 2 transcription, mRNA capping and RNA polymerase 1, RNA polymerase 3 and mitochondrial transcription. To display the proteins that interact with the XPA protein, select XPA protein icon in the pathway diagram. Click the right button of your mouse to invoke the context sensitive menu and select display interactors. The molecular interaction overlay surrounds the selected protein in the pathway diagram with a set of boxes representing protein-protein or protein-small molecule interactors. Clicking hide interactors in the context sensitive menu removes interactors from the selected pathway diagram. Selecting export interactors will display the interactors for the selected pathway protein as a downloadable PSI MyTab formatted list in a new browser window. The default interaction database is intact, however other sources of interaction data can be selected by using the Analyze, Update and Annotate button on the Analyze bar. A maximum of 10 interactors will be displayed at a time for the selected pathway protein, and a white box superimposed onto the selected protein displays the total number of interactors known by the source database. Using the Analyze, Update and Annotate button it is possible to view up to 50 interactors for every protein in the pathway diagram and download a table for all interactors per protein from the selected interaction database. The lines in the boxes that compose the interaction overlay are interactive. Mousing over an interactor produces a pop-up containing the name and the identifier of the protein. Clicking on the node will launch a new web page displaying the reference database for the interactor. For example, clicking a protein interactor will open the Uniprot entry in a new window. Clicking a line connecting the pathway protein to the interactor opens a new window containing details of the interaction from the source database. If you'd like to refer to the Reactum user guide, you'll find additional information about the Pathway Browser. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, please contact us at help.reactum.org.